Who wants to kick us off? Robert, thoughts on the game today? Uh, I'm very, very happy with the players. It's always tricky with the first game of the season. and You, you won all the friendly games and you can uh, expect to win the first game against a new new team. So, And Crystal Palace actually gave us some trouble in the first half. But I'm very happy that we just consistently started to play and keep playing and created so many goal chances and kept playing our way and four beautiful goals. Should you have scored more though? Because 24 shots, 16 on target. Yeah, I think there's a few of them that actually the goalkeeper do some amazing saves. Uh, so yeah, we should have scored a few more. But on the other hand, it's really nice to see so many different players come into these situations and how we create chances in different ways and how we also come on the ball. And also the press in the second half was much better when we switched it a little bit. So I'm very impressed with that part as well. It was four great finishes today though. <laughs> yeah, I must say. I mean, I think Haley gave us something in that counter-attack and she showed what she can bring to the game and she looked so good the rest of the game as well. Uh, probably she scored another one, but she was great. Uh, the other finishing that away, we play until those uh, goals. It's also really nice and you can tell that the Mighty is very good to lock up this uh, defence as well and Andrew is just playing her best football right now. You handed out four debuts today, three from the start. How do you think they got on? I think they were really good. I think they are. You know, we have signed some good players. It's a big, uh, big uh, applaud for the, you know, the, the team that signed these players. And then you see Anna coming in and then you see Lena getting a first minute as well. So I'm just so happy to see so many new faces adapting to the way we want to play and actually just give us a new dimension in the, in the way we play. Rob, well, lastly from me, of course, you've got the fans forum tomorrow. Looking forward to that? It's going to be easier than if we lost today, right? <laughs> no, but it was a good victory for the men's team and the women's team. And I feel like we are, we are ready to, to meet the fans there and make sure we show them that we, we love to do this with them. We can hear them today as well. So I'm, I'm looking forward to that. Thank you. Uh, Robert, um, Hayley Rasser, you mentioned this there, uh, but that's probably one of the most impressive debuts I've seen in a long time. Just, are you shocked at all? Or? I mean, we have scouted her and we have seen what she can do. But to be so good the first game, no, I'm, I'm, I'm quite happy with that actually. But on the other hand, we knew how good she is in and out of possession. We knew how, what she can bring to the game. And with a little bit of trust and a little bit like, I think she fits the way we want to play as well. So, uh, no, I'm, I'm, I'm actually impressed because it takes time when you're new and get to know all, of the, all the players and so on. But you can just tell that she, she loved to play the Tottenham way. And for Spencer's goal, I think that's 13 passes in the build up. Is that kind of rhythm and goal? Is that how you want to play football all the time? Uh, we can actually do one pass in behind and score directly as well. The main thing we do is we control and we do it in our way. So it could be like throw in as well with those passes before August goal but the main thing we want to do is to dictate and break their opponent down with it with quality and high a lot of movement basically so if you look at that, that goal yeah that was a brilliant goal and I feel like the way Might and Drew lock up the defense is, is just brilliant because it's quite hard to play against low blocks but they just nail it and then I mean Martha Beth uh, we have so many chances that we can score even more goals so now I'm very happy with the performance. Thank you. Uh, obviously, from, obviously, apart from the goals today, is there anything else you want to take into your game next week? Why a better? I think in the first half we, we didn't nail the press. Uh, they were quite good in their build-up and I feel like we didn't really get the rhythm of the game. And I think that's a part of the first game, new relations. But also, like, Christophers was quite good then. Then we switched a little bit in the press and make sure we, we could you know, basically press them higher and that helped us. But then you need to look at Villa and how they play. And I saw the game against Chelsea. They have so many good players. So it's going to be a very tough game. But uh, we're going to analyse this game and make sure what we're good, what can we do better. And then we're going to full focus on Aston Villa. Yeah. Obviously, Becky Spencer's like some of the. Some of the saves you're making were brilliant. Is that something you work in in training, or is it just like something she's exceptionally good at anyway? The main thing we want to do is that she shouldn't save a single ball every game because we should have the ball, or we should stop them earlier. So she's the best when she doesn't touch the ball when they have the ball. She can have it in the build-up, but not when they have the ball. And but then she's actually really good to make sure that she's focused and do those saves. So her development together with Kristen, you go through the position with amazing. So she's someone I love and I, and I really enjoy working with her. Obviously, you made a few signings this summer. How would you say they've settled in so far? Um, very good. I feel like most of them are people that we know about this person as well. And I think we, we just don't sign players, we sign people as well. So we know that the, the way we are, we're working. And I feel like they know each other and they help each other in this group. So you can tell they like to play with each other. I mean, Maita has only been here for one week and she already feels like she's known them forever. And um, after such a positive performance, what would you say your aim is with Spurs this season? keep playing this kind of football, to keep scoring this kind of goals, to keep winning games and hopefully we're going to aim higher in the table than last season. Thank you. Um, there seems to be a lot more intensity in the second half. Was that a conscious thing from yourself or is that just how the game panned out to take the, take the game away yeah. from Palace? I mean, we worked quite much with the fitness this year yet to have it there, but we didn't nail it in the first half. So we were a little bit frustrated in half time that we didn't, you know, their centre-backs 
unprofitable forward. So we changed a little bit with the tactics and, and pressed them with our wingers instead, and that gave us that extra touch that we needed. So it was a tactic change, but it was also a mentality that we needed to step a little bit higher and be a little bit more brave because you cannot press and cover at the same time because then you end up in a low position, which we ended up in the in the, in the part of first half. But the players took it, and I think this looked strong in the end as well because they just kept going. Thank you. Thank you. Cheers. 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 Cheers.